The world's oldest and largest St. Patrick's Day parade is kicked off in Manhattan with warm temperatures and cloudy skies. Elise Finch will join us in a minute for your holiday forecast. But we begin with CBS 2's John Diaz live along the parade route. Hi, John. Hey, Sydney. Yeah, well, this city, let me tell you, it is alive. The color green really is taking over. It's St. Patrick's Day. It is my favorite holiday. And by the looks of it over here, as you can see, it is a lot of people's favorite holiday. We have people from all over the world out here, across the country. A lot of people coming from Ireland. And this parade, it has a history dating back more than 260 years. The first one was back in 1762. The sounds of Ireland taking over the streets of New York City today with roughly 200,000 people marching up Fifth Avenue to participate in this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade. The Grand Marshal, a Long Island man, tells me he is honored to be leading the pack. It's a privilege and it's, uh, it's frankly humbling. You know, you think of all the people that have gone before you to do it for all it stands for. Um, and so, you know, the weight of that is on your shoulders. And on the sidelines, two million revelers cheered them on, creating a sea of green. It's great energy. It's just, it's great to be a part of it, whether you're watching the parade or walking in the parade. Joe Davidson came all the way from Missouri to watch his daughter march in the parade with her school band. It's an honor. They work hard day in and day out to get to this stage in the game, and uh, they perform outstanding. <laughs> The parade is the largest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world. It's even bigger than ones in Ireland, drawn spectators from around the globe. The Big Apple's a place to be. It's just iconic. It's where else would you want to be? I believe you have um, green beer here. You can definitely find some. <laughs> this tourist is from Northern Ireland. What do you think about New York celebrating St. Patrick's Day bigger than Ireland does. How do you feel about that? Absolutely fine. Eh? You know, there's a lot of Irish Americans. Glad to do it so we can come over and be part of it. It's also the oldest St. Patrick's Day parade. The first one was 14 years before the signing of the Declaration of Independence. That means this parade has survived a war of revolution, a civil war, World War One, World War Two, and two pandemics. And a live look back out here at Fifth Avenue. I just love the sound of bagpipes. Now, each year, the parade organizers, they come up with a new focus to raise awareness. This year, it's about food insecurity. There's almost 2 million people in New York alone who do not know where their next meal is coming from, which officials tell us that, you know, that resonates with Irish because of the Great Famine. Again, it is just such a great parade. I love being out here today. Just love being Irish. But for now, we're going to send it back to you, Sydney, in the studio. All right. Let's just explain. You are 75% Irish, so <laughs> happy St. 75%. Yes. All right, John, thank you. Here's a look at the parade route. People will be celebrating on Fifth Avenue between 79th and 42nd Streets, and that means plenty of road closures. For the complete list, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.